Hey all, hope you all are good. Welcome to my channel, Sri World Coding. In today's video, uh, I'm gonna show an extension of my previous video where I've copied all my files present inside my source folder to another folder uh, archive using uh, lookup metadata and for each. So we have a requirement chain in, in which we want to check whether uh, if all my files are present inside my source directory, then only proceed with the pipeline. Otherwise, no. So we have made a condition if the count of file inside my source uh, folder is equal to 5 then only proceed so for now i'm deleting this and let's uh, let's now debug only this this activity okay inside debug we are only it returns only the child items so it got succeeded and when you click uh, you can see uh, child item is an array okay mentioning all the files names inside it and its type okay let's create a variable uh, we will create a variable uh, file uh, count okay its type is a string this means we need to type cross from uh, integer to string okay let's use set the variable activity and link it here okay let's select the file count and give it a value so uh, i'm going to use length to calculate the length of uh, output of get metadata child item so we will use length of this as you can see uh, as you know that uh, the variable that we've created file count expect the data type to be string so we are typecasting it okay click on okay now let's also create uh, if else condition okay if else condition okay and let's link it here and let's go inside activities and click on add dynamic content so we want to check okay whether the output of file count equals to file uh, 5 or not so click on equals uh, okay and let's and select file count variable and check if its value is equal to 5 or not okay seems good okay uh, seems good only position to unrecognize why soon uh, let's give inside single quotes okay and click on okay so if if the count is equal to true let's use uh, for now let's use wait condition and give it a wait of one second okay otherwise let's go back and use let uh, f in case the count is not equal to uh, five we will delete all the files which is present inside the folder we will use the data set that we have created earlier which checks inside input container and source folder let's go back to pipeline uh, it will delete recursively we want we will be we don't want to enable logging now Other, otherwise let's uh, we have already created a link to blob storage okay we can select that okay but now disabling it for now okay now let's uh, run our pipeline to check whether our pipeline is running or not okay okay it's been queued and it got succeeded okay so as you can see 
as you can see first get metadata executed it return all the child items set variable gives the output that uh, number of files inside my folder is 5 then it goes inside if condition okay and inside if condition it goes my it checks whether my uh, file count equal to 5 then my uh, it execution it executed wait activity let's try to delete one file okay from here and now let's run our pipeline again okay click on debug so the execution has started and you can see now this time it goes inside tdelete because it does not matches the number of files present inside my blog and it should start deleting my all my files from here as you can see all my files have been deleted inside source folder so this was the flow where we are checking uh, where we are dynamically uh, checking all my files are present inside my folder or not if not then i will deleting all the files we can also archive the files so hope you enjoy the video kindly like and subscribe to my channel have a nice day